You remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the Lake of the Gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tarek and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. You can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Ich bin Amigo, don't you have I hey, Lester. Nice. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
Agent. That's it. I don't need over. Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. What's going on, man? Hey, I call my girl drink. fucking my homeboy right. Santo. I ain't mad though. It's my dog. If it's possible, I might be hey, coming immune to booby. Most definitely. You ready for a check? I don't want no drama. And don't forget it. How about oh, we take day. this party to the back? What's good? Why don't you go fuck Correct. yourself? What up, homie? How you living? Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. 
So, gentlemen, <coughs> civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. Alright. The bunk. Yeah. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. <laughs> Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Mm -hmm. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! <laughs> they may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Mm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, <laughs> if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught 
hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> we got the perfect guy for it. Oh, cool. Am I I'm thinking. I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Mm. Expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Okay. 
Die submarine staat dan nog steeds. We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Ja, dat is ook fijn. Wat? Aan een vliegtuig. Of het een vliegtuig aan vliegt, de andere in de fik. Hallo. Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Patricia, I really miss you. Time together. Very important. I have to go. Taken. Do 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 do.
<laughs> wow. Dat was jammer. Ik heb vijf ton gepakt. Dat is krapje uit het uur. Ze zijn toch allemaal veel ver weg. Dan zijn we weer bij het vliegveld. Dat is snel gaan. Crazy. Ah, daarmee kunnen we wel even vlug. <coughs> uh, die huizen en zo gaan we kopen. 80 geloof ik.
Terug hierin rennen. En hou. Ah. Dat soort van en hou. Just stay away from me, oké? Okay? Ja. Je back? I'm gonna seriously fuck you up, eh? Pinche mama verga! Hijo de tu puta madre, piece of shit! Ay. Van pistons naar pistons vliegt om ze op te pakken. plaats om de heli te parkeren. Kijk, ligt uh, mijn submarine nou hier in het water of wat? Kijk, en nu nog 172. Dat zal niet genoeg zijn om nog wat te kopen. Volgens mij niet kopen, ondanks dat die. Dus 6 ton kost. De missies. Ja, technisch wil ik die dingen. Echtels waar je is. Hebben die is. Come on! We doen.
You look like a man who knows what he wants. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thing. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams, I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. Oh, but you like you like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bounty, Josh? Josh Bernstein. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away, my meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend, and now he has taken all of my clients, all of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. What? I love you. I love you. Lenny. I'm here. Avery. I'm back. And I can get. Mm hmm. Even kijken. Gaan we hier nog zitten? Dat ook meteen dat we toch in deze hoek zijn.
Du får en meter op snelheid. I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your Not fault, you stupid bald show. prick! Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! That dog should be on a leash! I hope you get a ticket! Why don't you shut up before I put you on the leash? It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. <laughs> Someone needs a skin peeled. The state is so Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills. Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. Okay, you're welcome, Skype. Okay, what what for a celebrity with them is? Not be here. I go tell the boss. He won't be happy. Got him on the pitch. That's kick was very cool.
Geen fijne auto. Veel te veel. Oh, fixed. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Die site missies is goed ook klaar, dus dan hebben we alleen nog maar die missie voor hem. Oh. Ja. Lucky miss! We're swapping insurance details! Hey man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. 
I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Oh, God. Zou die echt uh, denken dat het nou pret is? Dat Michael weet dat het is. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear and reason thought! Finally! Come on, come back, we'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax, the grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. Done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... You're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure, sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking, fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Mm -hmm. I want to let our auto truck as my gun. Zero out with. Insurance details. In the plane.
Toch gehaald waarschijnlijk. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Wasting your time. <laughs> Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time. Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. <sighs> This is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look. We do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Yeah. Mikey. I mourned you, and I missed you, but I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Ah, fuck! Fuck! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Let's 
Don't try and stay down. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Much rifle. Get out of the bed. Find it. You see it. You're out of your element. The runner now. You should have gone after the other guy. Put down the weapon. This shit. Oh, you're looking jolly. You're making a mistake. You're on ice, Brick. Oh, yeah, whoa. Ah, friend, he don't care about you. Ah, oh, hey, you got the wrong guy. 